Oh, this is so great. Yeah, this intro is awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Hey everyone, one big boss here, and I'm back with my friend Aaron, and as you can tell, we're playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the game I've wanted to play since we began this whole Let's Play Resident Evil series. So, so let's see what happens. Do we like, were you here when I played through this last time? Like, a couple months ago? Um... Okay, so I have played this a couple times. I honestly don't remember. Hmm. I might have been. I think I... Yeah, I think I was, yeah. Yes, you know why? Because that was when we did... Um... Mercenaries Mobile with the arcade stick. <laughs> yes! So I was here for that. <laughs> that was true. Like, should we do hard mode or easy mode? Do hard mode, don't be a wuss. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do hard mode. This won't fight the nemesis at all. Just gotta run the whole time? Pretty much. You can't fucking fight him the first time anyway, you don't have the ammo to beat him. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Raccoon. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. Or if they had listened to you guys, like, four months ago. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's Raccoon. last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. I think, I think your voice actor is actually Canadian. I think that's why she's having a hard time pronouncing it. It's possible. Or she's just like saying that. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. <laughs> I actually like how like they showed pretty much everybody getting massacred in this game. Because when you start off Resident Evil 2, you just start off like in the city. Yeah, after shit's already got hit the man. Yeah, so you're like, well, why didn't we get to see that? So I'm kinda glad they covered it in this game. Because at this point, yeah, this takes place before 2 does. Yeah. And then after Claire and Leon escape the city. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't go boom. Um, well, I mean, it does go boom, but not right away. Yeah, no. It takes actually a couple days because when a lot of people didn't realize this when the first game came out, um, there was like a there's like a, I think like a six day skip after Jill gets infected. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think she was like like in, in the S. D. Perry novel, like she was out for yeah, about yeah. like six days. But they they show you it's like because. This happens in September, and she wakes up in October. Oh, that blood. Oh, that blood. So much chaos. All is quiet. Boom! Oh, that was in the throat. Nope. Five shots to take down a zombie. And it's not even fully dead either. Huh? Nope. Because there's no blood, see? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. That's all. Uh, I love how we got the uh, the total 180 turn on this. This game is definitely the shorter out of the three, but... Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah, it's still, like, my favorite one. Run, Jill, run. <laughs> September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We've got to get out of here. 
What? What do you think you're talking crazy about? Crazy bananas. Yep. I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? You should have gone after her, bitch. I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't gonna be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! Eh, don't worry about it. You don't look like you're gonna waste away to nothing. Anytime soon. Oh, no waste away to nothing. Well, yeah, because, like, I mean, you come back in here. If you come back to this area, like, later on in the game. Yeah. He's dead right, like, on the floor and there's all, like, zombies in here. Oh, see, I was saying that he'll get vaporized away to nothing. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> You know, I don't know why. When you also said at the beginning when we started, too. Shut up. <laughs> you know, uh, fun fact. I, I don't know if it was that guy right there or if it's... Uh, yeah, the guy that's right there and the nemesis are voiced by the same guy. And guess who he's voiced by. You'll, probably, you'll never guess. Is it someone I know? No, well, I mean, you may have watched the show when like you were a kid or something. What show? Mario Brothers, he was the voice of Luigi. You right? And then, like, I actually think you told me that last time. I did? And I didn't believe you either. Yeah. No, it's the honest guy, it's true. No, I, yeah. That dude, he, the guy who played Luigi, he ended up, like, going insane. Like, he's got, like, schizophrenia or something like that. Really? Yeah. No, because, like, I read it on, uh, online. He, because he hasn't, like, voice acted in forever. Like, look it up. Yeah, I'm looking up. Do you know his name? Uh, no. Uh, freaking, what the hell was it? You know, that gun probably made me sick to make my ammo. Good old Wikipedia. Let's see. Mario Brothers TV? Yeah, TV show. Mario Brothers Super Show, or whichever it was. Still waiting for a Resident Evil anime. Mario Brothers. Yeah, different TV series. Wiki. Because both both the Mar uh, the Super Mario shows were voiced by the same people, if I remember correctly. I remember the name of the say. Will you discard it? Of course, I will discard it. I love that noise. It's like the wind howling. You can actually hear the zombies cry in the distance. Yeah. Like, a lot of people didn't like 3 at first. It, it didn't sell as much as 2. Uh, but I think it's still it's still a phenomenal game. I've opened that door. Yes, yes. My shotgun's down there. Three, three was just great. I mean, I, it's my favorite of the, of the original three. I mean, it's like it's it's also like hard to place you know like which one like which one's really the best. I mean, like one was so, uh, what do you call it there? Innovated from the, like, because it was something new, something we hadn't seen before. And two, was more, was like it had to. Ooh. Mario Brothers TV show. Yep. Danny Wells? Is that Luigi? I don't know. Looks like we'll just look for like the casting says like Luigi. Yeah, 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 I just was looking at the people at the top. Danny Wells is Luigi, okay. I just went by the first two names and guessed that the second one will be Luigi. Well, yeah, he's the Luigi character. Well, alright, let's see. Oh, wow, who's on the Jeffersons? Really? Yeah, he was the bartender, Charlie. 
Ten bucks says Josh knows that episode. He probably does. Oh, no, no, no. He was a recurring character. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. My fan career. Television guest appearances include Punky Brewster, Murder, She Wrote. Oh, God. The A-Team. The Every Greatest American Hero. Happy Days. Chips. Bionic Woman. Wow, really? Oh, it's probably the original Bionic Three movie. episodes. Yeah, three episodes of Sanford and Son. Oh, Skeptic Star. Starsky and Hutch. During the 60s and 70s, he appeared in Aim as for Kmart. <laughs> he also did voices for television, films, video games. Yep. Um, Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Such a retro <laughs> show. Batman. Whoa, he voiced people in Batman animated series? Really? Who, who do you voice? I don't know, but I'm going to look it up after this. Mario Brothers Super Show. Crash Box. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Uh. Resident Evil. My goldfish is evil. I do not. Oh. Those zombies are chowing down. It's all you can hear. Yeah, they are. Wow. Dudes, at one point, you just eat me bone. God. Oh, Brad. Well, we know what becomes of you in Resident Evil 2. This is where you can be like a real dick and not help him. I'm here to get bit. Get away! Oh wow, he did a voice in uh, Johnny Bravo. Really? The bull. Oh, he voiced a guard in Batman. So it wasn't anything like super important. I was gonna say I would have remembered him. If it was like. Oh yeah. A real character. Yeah, you, well, no, like you know, like all the cast of that show. I'm pretty sure he, this isn't the same guy that did Nemesis. I'm pretty it's not showing up in other video games. That are so. Let me look up. Who the fuck is yelling outside? Probably those idiots up the street. I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? They're zombies. You just point and shoot at them. He's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's oh, shut the up, Brad. There's no escape. There's no escape as I walk out the door. Get this here. Okay. Right. Come on, the herbs. Wait, what? Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, full credits. Why is Allison Ford getting a credit? She's probably like a, uh... It's either a mistake or it was a... It's gotta be a mistake, because as our Claire Redfield, she's not in this game. She only makes one appearance in the whole game. But... In this game? Well, it's an epilogue. Oh, then that's probably why. But she doesn't speak in it. Oh, Like, well, at all. Fucking know that. Resident Evil 3, it doesn't have a big cast. It doesn't list anyone for Nemesis. I'm looking it up. It has Jill, Carlos, Mikhail, Nikolai, Brad, Tyrell. Who else Tyrell? He's a guy you find later on in the game if you do the game the right way. Murphy. Murph. Dario, and, and then Claire. Yep. Oh, no, it's uh, his name's Tony Rosado. Okay, yeah. yeah, Dario. That's going to be the guy. Yeah. So he's, a... this dude was born in the 50s and he's from Italy. That's why he got to play. Uh, so all right, he Luigi. was on. He was on. He wasn't Luigi. Oh, I thought he was. Because look what it's all right. All right, because I found it on Luigi my phone. Luigi in a different show. Then. Yeah, Super Mario World and Captain the Adventure. N and the Adventures of Super Mario. All right, different. He was See? Luigi on a different show. Yeah, 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 I got it. 
I got found it on IMDb. Yeah, I looked up uh, it's, uh, behind the voice actors. He yeah, all right. Aim up. Oh, don't so puke on you. So he was Luigi, just unknown. You just told me the wrong show. He was on two shows. He was voiced Luigi twice. Fine, but the one show you told me was wrong. Was it Super Mario Brothers Super Show? Yeah, you told me that one. It wasn't him. That oh was yeah, how Super I got Mario. Dan that's how I got Danny Wells. Oh, that's right. I keep I keep forgetting like how many there's uh there's however many Mario Brothers shows there are, it's that many too many. Yeah. Oh, crap. The damn thing. Sweet. Now let's look up Tony Rosado on Wikipedia. Yeah, because he was yeah he was reading about the crazy. Boom. <laughs> He just got my leg. He just got my leg. So he did a lot of voice work. Oh god, I'm gonna die. No, you're not. Run. Sweet. Could just lured him towards the barrel too. But so, wow, he did a shitload of voice work. But he's crazy. Arrest and mental health issues. Yes, juicy stuff. <laughs> On May 5th of 05, Rosado was arrested and charged with criminal harassment of his wife Leah. Who asserted that his deteriorating mental health had caused her to fear her safety oh, and that of her couple's of the couple's daughter. Charged delayed after Rosado complained repeatedly to Toronto and things that his wife and daughter have been abducted and replaced by imposters, a belief characteristic of Capgrass delusion, a delusional misidentification syndrome with which the Crown's expert psychiatrist had diagnosed Rosado. According to his eighth lawyer. <laughs> Alright, so. Du, 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 du. Just in spite of the diagnosis, Rosado denied mental illness and refused to plead insanity, but so for over two years without bail at a maximum security detention center. Fuck. It's the curse of playing Luigi. Hey, at least he got to play the nemesis. He spent more time in. Wow, yeah, he spent two years in jail for a harassment charge. <laughs> Then anyone ever can. Then. He hadn't even been convicted yet. Oh, good part. Here he is. It's probably about the time that he went insane. This game probably drove him to insanity. Yeah, I mean. Well, he wasn't. I mean, he was insane, but he had like a sickness, not like he went crazy. Oh, yeah. Except for thinking that his wife and daughter were... Well, I mean, he went crazy, but not, like, crazy, like, psychopath crazy. He yeah. went, what the hell? Oh, this is where they give you the option. Fight oh, the yeah. monster into the police station. It's easier to do the fight. You don't actually fight him. You just check Brad. Because he's got the stars card on him. And then you are. Then you're on. Yeah, because I'm not cycling. I remember I tried to fight this thing, like, the first time I played the game years ago. It's like, what the fuck is this? Boop. I just think that's hilarious. You shut the door behind you, she didn't even lock it, and he's just banging on the door. Gotta love it. It's the Styles card. Oh, wow, who's on SNL? <laughs> no way. Yeah. Sometimes it's really just fun to, like, when you hear these voice actors, you want to, like, want to know more about them because you don't hear enough of them. Yeah. Because they're not... They're not famous enough in like the eyes of like TV and movies to be reported on and shit. Not like if like you're Charlie Sheen or something. Charlie Sheen's amazing. You shut your mouth, dude. I wanted to go see his comedy act when he was here. Yeah, me too. Good thing we didn't go to the Boston one because that's the one that was. I think that's the one that bombed. I don't know. Password zero five one three. Yeah, basically he he that's he something happened and eventually he he just kind of started believing that his wife was replaced by an identical looking imposter. Is that so insane? Well, you know, stuff happens. 